So for today, we will be having our new lesson and that will be another arithmetic operator or uh, another um, operation, mathematical operation. I know that you are very much familiar, familiar for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but today I'll be teaching you the modular arithmetic. So for modular arithmetic, we are pertaining to model law. So the proponent of model law, we have Leonard Euler and Carl Gauss. So modular arithmetic is commonly used in mathematics or in solving problems. So allow me to teach you the idea of modular arithmetic. So modular arithmetic is something related with the operation division. So we have in division, A divides by B is equal to quotient remainder R. The excess, okay? A is dividend, B is divisor, Q is quotient, and R is remainder. So, for the idea of arithmetic, of modular arithmetic, we have A mod B. Where in mod is the modular operator. And um, A here is our dividend, and B here is our divisor, or what we call now modulus. If in addition, you have sum if in subtraction you have difference for multiplication product and for division quotient for modulus or modular operation or arithmetic you have remainder okay so if for addition we have plus sign subtraction minus sign for A mod B, we have mod, which means modulus or modular arithmetic, and this is our modular operator. So, in order for you to understand it better, let us have an idea first. Take for example, we have 9 divides by 5, the result is 1, remainder 4. So, 9, there is 1, 5 in 9, and there is a remainder so in modular arithmetic, we have 9 mod 5 is equal to the remainder, which is 4. This is the answer, 4. Another example, we have 3 mod 2 is equal to 1. We have remainder 1. Um, for 16 mod 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, Remainder is equal to 1. So this is modular arithmetic. What if we have here 3 mod 5? Since our dividend is less than our divisor or modulus, the result will be our dividend. Or that will be the remainder. For 4 mod 5, the result is also equal to 4. And for 5 mod 5 the modulo the written the dividend and the my divisor is the same or equal therefore the remainder is always b zero so let us have the idea or the concept of this using the clock operator so let us have here um the clock has this lead number 12, 3, 6, 9, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, since you have your clock, clock operator 1 to 12, yung 12, you will change it to 0 because 12 here is your modulus. Okay, let us have this one. What is 12 mod 2? Ah, uh, sorry. Our modulus is 12. Therefore, always change the modulus in our clock operator equal to zero. 
Therefore, we can say that the rem remainder will be numbers from 1 to 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 0. These are the choices for the remainder. So, let us have the idea of 3 mod 12. From the idea a while ago, since 3 is less than our um, divisor or our modulus, the result is 3. Using clock operator, starting from 0, we have 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the result is 3. For 5 mod 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The result is 5. Since 5 is less than 12, if we have here now 13 mod 12, the idea of counting using clock operator, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. 13, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The result is 1. And using the operation a while ago, 13 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 1. For 18 mod 12, so we have 12 here, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. The result is 6. Why? Because 18, if you will um, less 12, may matitirang 6. Or 18 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 6. That is through the use of clock operator. What if we have negative? So let us have the operation modular arithmetic. Let us have negative 2 mod 5. In order to answer that, this is what you're going to do. Negative 2 plus 5 is equal to 3. So the result, um, the dividend, you have to divide to add the dividend by the divisor. Negative 2 plus 5 will be positive 3. Since the result is positive already, therefore, negative 2 mod 5 is equal to 3. Another example, negative 8 mod 5. Mm, same pro process, negative 8 plus the modulus 5 is negative 3. And negative 3 is not yet positive. So let us continue the process. Negative 3 plus the modulus, which is 5, is equal to positive 2. Therefore, we have already the positive integer. Therefore, negative 8 mod 5 is equal to 2. Another example. What if we have here negative 17 mod 6? Negative 17 plus the modulus 6 is equal to negative 11. And negative 11 is not yet positive. Just continue the process. Negative 11 plus 6 is equal to negative 5. And negative 5 is still negative. Continue the process. Negative 5 plus 6 is equal to 1. Therefore, negative 17 mod 6 is equal to 1. Let us use the operation, the clock operation. So, let us have negative, 12, um, negative 5 mod 12. Let us have first our modular arithmetic. Negative 5 mod 12 is equal to negative 5 plus 12 is equal to 7. Therefore, the result is 7. Using clock operator, since you are going to use negative value, you will have the counterclockwise uh, position. We have here 1, negative 5 mod 12. This is modulus 12, negative 5. Kanina, positive, therefore clockwise. Now, negative, counterclockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the result is 7. From the arithmetic, arithmetic that we did a while ago, negative 5 plus 12 is equal to 7. Therefore, negative 5 mod 12 is also equal to 7. Is there any question? None. Okay, so let us just continue the process. Allow me to have... Um, 17 mod 12 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 The result is also 5 So what if Negative 7 mod 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 The result is also equal to 5 Right? So if we're going to have the arithmetic, 
negative 7 plus 12 is also equal to 5. Already positive. Therefore, let us encircle the item from modulus 12 rem with remainder equal to 5. We have this, this, and this. Since they are sharing the same remainder, this is what we call... Modular congruence. Okay? So, when we say modular congruence, um, they are sharing the same um, remainder. They are having the same remainder. So, how are we going to write the congruency of the modulo? Modular congruence or congruence modulo. Okay? How are we going to write that? Since here, sharing the same modulus, which is 12, therefore, we can say that um, 5 mod 12, here there, 5 mod 12 is equal to 5, and um, 17 mod 12 is equal to 5, and 7, negative 7 mod 12 is equal to 5, therefore, we can say that 17 is congruent to negative 7 mod 12. Neg uh, 17 and negative 7 sharing the same modulus. And that is 12. And we can say also that 5 is congruent to negative 7 mod 12. Congruence modulo. Okay? So, before I end this video, let us have another example for clock operator. So, let us use... Um, let us use... Where's the eraser? Let us use now... Modulus of... Modulus of... 4. For modulus of 4, 1, 2... Sorry, modulus of 4... 1, 2, 3, 4. Since 4 is our modulus, change it to 0. Therefore, 3 mod 4 is equal to 1. 1, 2, 3 is equal to 3. 8 mod 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is equal to 0. Negative 7 mod 4, counterclockwise position, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is equal to one. For the operation, 3 is less than 4, therefore the remainder is always equal to 3. 8 mod 4, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2 with no remainder. And negative 7 mod 4 is equal to 1. Why? Because negative 7 plus 4 is negative 2 and negative 2 is still negative. Make it positive, add modulus. Now, um, negative 2 mod uh, plus 4 is equal to 2. I think negative 7 mod 4 is equal to 2. Let us recheck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sorry, correct. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. Okay? Sorry for this. So, that ends our video. For the part 2, let us have the application of Modulo. I hope that you don't have any question. Uh, please wait for the application of Modulo after this video. Okay? Please watch the second video about application of modulo. Thank you.